Hey friends, it's the Drive to School podcast. I'm Pastor Gibbon, your host, and today we are talking about the things that you'll see in church this coming Sunday, and you are probably going to be celebrating All Saints Day. All Saints Day was actually November 1st, but we're going to go ahead and give it a punt to the coming Sunday because it is my favorite, favorite church day of the year. I know I'm supposed to pick like Easter and like if you really want to sort of be, you can you can pick All Saints Day, best day ever. Because on All Saints Day, the church confesses who has value in the church and what the church is, is made up of. And those are saints. A, a saint is not somebody who does enough good stuff to be remembered as extra special Christian. A saint is not somebody who does so much that they sort of, I don't know, like skip purgatory or anything weird like that. A saint is somebody who is holy. That's what the word means. Saint is a, a holy one. You are holy because you are baptized. Your baptism makes you a saint. I am Saint Harrison. You have a saint attached to your name in your baptism, which means that we're not doing this whole salvation thing based on whether or not you earn it, which means you can talk about today. I am going to know on the last day I will rise in my body and I know it today. I don't have to wait to find out to see if I was good or bad. I'm a saint today. And we can remember the saints who have gone on to glory. It's, it's a wonderful, wonderful thing to recognize that the church never shrinks. The church never dies because Christ is risen from the dead. On All Saints Day, we recognize that though there are those who have been separated from us by that last great enemy, death, they can't stay dead. They are alive in Christ. And so we remember them as the saints who have dearly departed. They are the church triumphant. They are those who have conquered death in Christ our Lord. And so here we see that the church only grows. It never shrinks. Some people might be taken on to glory, but they are still a part of the church, and so they are still a part of our lives. You are not alone. And so, because you are a saint, whatever is going on in your life, you are holy and you are worthy of love because God loves you. He has made you a holy one. You have no sins left. All of those have been taken away. And when you feel alone, you are not alone because you can walk into church and recognize that beyond the other side of that communion rail are angels and archangels and all the company of heaven, all the company of heaven, even those in your life who have gone on to rest in Christ. They are not dead. They are just sleeping. And on the last day, they will wake up and you will see them again because they are a part of the church right now, just like you are a part of heaven right now. All Saints Day is that wonderful, wonderful connection between heaven and earth. And it shows us that heaven is not near as far away as we would like to think because we partake in the communion of the saints. We go to church, we have communion, and they don't call it communion of some of the saints. It's communion of all of the saints. All of us are there. We are sure shoulder to shoulder with those who we have loved, who have died in the faith and are still with us. They stand shoulder to shoulder with us around the throne that the Lamb sits on. And there's joy in that. There's joy in that because this world is dark and cold. There's joy in that because we struggle to find our own worth. There's joy in that because of all of the things in the world that would leave us apart from one another, the sins that would make us feel alone, the death that would make us feel cut off. On All Saints Day, we remember that all of those things have already lost to Jesus, who died and rose again. You are connected to the rest of the church in Christ. You are worthy of love in Christ. You can be sure of your salvation, so sure that you can attach the word saint to your name today, even as you remember the saints who have fallen asleep in Christ. All Saints Day good as it gets. This is everything. Go to church. It's going to be good.